Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine. Today I am so excited to share with you this new bag that I got from Coach. And this is the Coach outlet, so not the regular Coach website or stores. And essentially it is like a bag that I have been looking for for a while now and I will explain this furthermore into the video. Before I get started, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Next Fashion. If you guys haven't heard of Next Fashion already, Next Fashion is a Canadian company that focuses on bag accessories and chains and it is perfect for anyone who is looking to accessorize or make their bag a lot more versatile. So thank you Next Fashion for sponsoring this video and I will also share with you guys three chains that I have that I will demonstrate on this bag that I got from Coach. So because it is from the outlet, I will have a little story time on my experience about this. So uh, I don't have like a full on unboxing, like tissue paper and whatsoever because this is from Coach Outlet. So I will do a quick reveal and talk about my experience and show you guys the chains and how I'm going to style this bag. So I'll pause this video and if you guys do have any guesses on which bag I got, let me know or just think in your head and let me know if you guys got it right. So the bag that I got, is this coach claire bag in the mock croc and honestly if you guys keep up with luxury bags you will almost already just like know right off the bat that this almost looks like the saint laurent um sunset bag and honestly it is very close the only thing i will say is that the corners are not as pointed or structured as the sunset bag but essentially it's almost the same thing and definitely inspired by slash the coach dupe version of it like even when you open it it has like this pocket and kind of like the accordion style to this bag so i've really wanted something like this for a long time because it just looks very luxurious it looks very like business professional that you can dress up or down like t-shirt and jeans or with something a lot more formal like blazers and all that um so yeah i will jump right into my experience first with this so i actually originally got the mini beige claire and i'll put the photo up here and honestly that was a surprise to me because it came in just tissue paper in like an envelope a, like a little padded envelope but that was it there was nothing else to it it was like not in a cardboard box it was straight up in an envelope and i was a little bit like shocked i would say like i do understand it's outlet it's not like the actual um retail stores but i would have thought that it would at least come in like a box and like some um bubble wrap or something like that but straight up just an envelope and i was like oh did not expect that at all anyways um Shortly after I bought that beige bag, because I want um, a white bag and a light colored bag or um, put them together, I guess, a beige bag that I could wear with like light pinks and stuff like that and like similar to like this kind of top color. Um, but anyways, shortly after I bought that, I ended up finding this on the website and they were both practically the same price except that one is a mini and this one is a regular size. Um, so then I kind of did like the comparison and like thought about it because I don't want two bags it's just unnecessary like one bigger one smaller of the same kind um thought about it I figured that actually the mini Claire does not fit anything at all I have the 11 Pro Max and it does not it cannot even fit diagonally I will show comparison photos as well um, between this one and the, the mini Claire so price difference wise I figured that the mini Claire was not worth it and I've always wanted like a mock croc bag. Like I really wanted on um, the sunset and mock croc like a long time ago, but then I gave up on that. I've heard that the sunset uh, YSL is super heavy. So I put that on the back burner and then the YSL Cassandra, um, I'll put the photo up here as well if you guys don't know. That was like my go-to black mock croc bag that I really wanted. But then I still like it but I saw it in person and it's quite small and I like to like be prepared when I go out I like to like um, fit hand wipes my phone a battery pack um, sometimes a water bottle obviously I know I can't put that in here but I like to have enough space in my bag where I don't feel like I'm just walking out with like my wallet and my phone because I'm not one of those kind of people um, so yeah I ended up picking this um, versus the mini Claire beige 
And unfortunately, this is no longer on the website. Like I looked at the other day and I wanted to see if it like got cheaper, but it was just off the website. So if you guys do find it, I hope you guys can. If I do find it, I will link it down below. But anyway, so this one, when it came, um, it was delivered in a box. I opened it, it was in a plastic bag. I'll put the photos here as well. I don't have an unboxing for you guys because I wanted to make sure that the bag was in good condition. So I like kind of ripped off all of that. Like the bag was covered in like foam and it was taped up. It was actually a lot better experience than the mini beige Claire one. That one, I was really shocked. It was like someone mailed it from their home. Although it had a tissue paper and a sticker, but like honestly, the full experience was really like opening this bag. I could tell that it was brand new from the back the stock room and not just on the floor that was wrapped up and you know that kind of stuff so as you can tell i still have the price tag on it because i purposely wanted to save it so that i can show you guys that it is brand new and that i got this um yeah so i will i guess do this unboxing where i take out all the um styrofoam and the inside stuff so similar to the sunset um the strap you can wear two different ways you can wear it cross body on your shoulder and then double strap it and wear it like this. And this one has like a little tab over here where you can actually hook keychains on there. There's like a little D-ring on there. I'll probably take this off and put my own keychains or just not have something dangling so I don't hit things because this is like a really pretty heavy and thick metal piece. Um, and okay, so there is a pocket here which definitely fits my phone. I have tried 11 Pro Max and this is a magnet enclosure and then i have this pocket here which also fits my phone which i am super happy about like this is really nicely packaged i would say and it's all paper so it's good that it's recyclable and the inside of this bag is very smooth and soft actually the beige claire one inside was not as i guess nice it wasn't really fabric i can't really remember it but i definitely just felt like the quality and the money's worth was a lot more in this one than the mini. If you carry very little things, like you're a minimal person, then I would suggest the mini is still like not a bad option. Uh, but yeah, so there's a back pocket, one pocket here, one pocket here, um, a zipper pocket, and then the one in the front. So that is the bag. I'll do like a full 360 for you guys. And now that I am officially keeping this bag, I am going to cut the price tag off. Okay, the feeling you get when you cut the price tag off for luxury bags, I swear if you guys can relate to this, is like a grand opening for like a restaurant or store where they do like the ribbon cutting. I don't know, that's what it feels like to me. So yeah, this is like a really quick video because honestly like I have nothing to unbox but like I am so happy with this. Obviously like the price point compared to the Saint Laurent um, Sunset bag is like a fraction, less than a fraction of Saint Laurent but of course it's different but same difference and i don't have to feel bad about babying this entirely and i haven't touched the saint laurent bag in person but everyone has been saying that it's very very heavy so that has definitely deterred me because putting everything in your bag already makes the bag heavy so if a bag is heavy when it's empty it is like not on my list so yeah this is a very light very comfortable and i am five foot three I don't have any issues with this wearing it on my shoulder or cross body. But yeah, so I'm gonna share with you guys some of the chains that I have from Next Fashion and I'm super excited to. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that the chains are not removable on this bag. So I can't really put like a new chain on, but what I can do because the D-rings are quite big and there's also this other D-ring here, I'm going to put some chains and accessorize this bag. So the first chain I have here is um, the Candy Box chain and it is actually Next Fashion's um, newest chain release recently. And this is what it looks like on the bag. It actually just sits right below the logo. I kind of would prefer it to be higher so I'm going to actually 
see if I can hook it on the back of the D-ring. If not, then it's fine. Seems like it's going to work. So yeah, actually I like this a lot more. I like how the chain is above the logo. It just kind of looks a little bit more balanced. So this is one way you can accessorize your bag. And then I have another one. The next one is this eighth inch <laughs> mini curve. So I'm going to put that at the front. And this is what it looks like. So it's above the logo as well. So I kind of really like the way this looks. This is actually my favorite. I really do love the mini curve personally. It just kind of like is a very like low key, minimal touch to it. And I kind of like things that aren't like too loud or in your face or too bold. So I really do like this one. And I have one more to show you guys. And that is a keychain. Also the gold kind of matches really well here with the coach bag. In my other videos, I did mention that the gold in the next fashion chains are pretty similar to the Louis Vuitton ones. Even the small clasps are pretty close to um, what Louis Vuitton has. It's just like a little bit smaller, but probably one of the closest that I've seen that is very similar. So the last one that I have is this four inch curb chain with this key ring at the end. And you could either like put it here if you wanted to and have your keys hanging out, or you could kind of like slide it in here and just have your keys ready so you don't have to fish for them. It's not tight or anything. There's room in this bag where the chain won't scratch the lining of the bag or piping, I mean. Um, yeah, so you could put your keys in here so it's easy to find. You could attach this to your like key ring holder, key holder, or have like a keychain hang out here. Or if you have like some other things, you could actually connect it to the other side if you wanted to add like a charm or something like that. And specifically with this bag, funny enough, there's a D-ring here where the tag is. So I could actually potentially just hang it off of that and put whatever I want there, put it in the bag again, like I did earlier or whatnot. So even though this bag, I cannot remove the chains, I am still able to kind of decorate and accessorize this bag with some next fashion chains and bag charms. So that is it for this very short bag reveal. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have been waiting to wear this bag because it's just so simple, basic, and just an easy way to elevate your everyday look without having to break the bank. Um, so if you guys do have any questions on this bag, please let me know. Again, I don't see it online anymore, at, at least not on the Canadian website. So if you guys do know, please link it down below for others. If not, and I can find the link, I will link it down below. And of course, if you guys are interested in any of these next fashion chains that I showed, I do have a coupon code, which I will also put in the description link and on the screen. I wanted to say thank you to Next Fashion for sponsoring this video. That is it for this video. And of course, as always, if you guys are new to my channel or existing, it would mean so much to me if you guys would hit that subscribe button, the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video.